What's going on guys, this is Snowman's Watch Reviews, back from a four, leave, four year leave absence. Um, just want to apologize for those who did subscribe and expect some more to come, but nothing ever happened, but we're back. Uh, I'm finally doing that update of the MTM Patriot watch. If you watched, if you haven't seen the, the review of that yet, I highly recommend you go back into my channel and watch it first and then come back here, because this is a four year update on that on the watch so I did promise in the video four months but obviously that turned to four years but honestly if you I if when I think about it I think that's that's four years is a lot better so those looking at the watch now can get a, a true feel of, of wear and tear and, and functionality and whatnot so uh, so yeah we'll get into it uh, before I do go into uh, the watch watches I do have um, we're we're starting we're starting the whole the reviews up again. So I got some watches that we're gonna put up in the near future. So look out for those. Also, I want to give a shout out to uh, it's me Brian D with for providing the camera. That was really nice because we didn't have one, but now we do. So it's great. Now we can actually start recording again. Anyway, uh, let's get to the watch. So yeah, basically, this is the watch, the MTM Black Patriot. Let's focus this in. So yeah, if you if you just came from watching the actual review of it, you'll notice first things off the bat that I changed the band out. I did have this band on it, the the Velcro type, uh, but I changed it because metal's better in my opinion. I, I I prefer the metal bands over this. Um, but I'll talk about this thing in a minute. But yeah, just it's the MTM Black Patriot. Four years later, um, if you're if you just came from the original review, you're going to see a lot more nicks on it, um, some heavy dings, but that came with four use of wearing it. I, it's my daily watch, and I wore it every day for the most part, so it definitely has some wear and tear to it, but uh, it's still it's still looking good, it's still looking good. Uh, first thing we're talking about is just the the the, fir the things that pop out immediately uh, looks, so scratches, dents, paint, whatnot. So. Right off the bat, undo this clamp. Right off the bat, uh, you'll notice around the bezel, there's this nick right here. Um, there's a couple nicks that are kind of hit it pretty hard on some stuff. Some chips in the paint. You get a lot of. Let's see if I can focus it properly. You get a lot of dents around here on the watch itself, right around here, from hitting it and whatnot, dropping it, whatever, whatever happens to it. But um, yeah, I've, I've, I wore this every day and I abuse it a lot. I've <laughs> had a lot of accidents and whatnot with wearing it. So, but for, I mean, for the most part, it being stainless steel and all, it, it's held up. It really has, and there's no, there's nothing functional that's that has a problem. Everything's mechanically there. Everything works. So that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, I hit this on like a metal something metal, and that's that. That's probably pretty much the worst of it. So it's not too bad. Um, but other from that, yeah, it's it's still holding up pretty nicely. Um, I took the band off this one right here. I took this off right down for a minute. I put took this off around ooh, I don't know maybe six months after I did the review um, originally. And the reason why I took it off is one, it, it's a good band. Trust me, it's built really well, and I've used it for quite a lot of purposes. But the reason why I changed it out is because it gets freaking filthy. If you sweat a lot or in a place where you're going to sweat a lot, you're working out with it, whatever it may be, expect a band like this to get just filthy. Um, you can even see just kind of how dirty it is. That's all pretty much dirt. So, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's still a good band, and if you wash it, it's fine, but um, I got kind of annoyed washing it, and it takes a bit to dry. So, I just changed the metal band, which I do like a lot better. And if you do recall... Um, in my other review, I did talk about how this thing will support a 7mm wetsuit for, for like diving purposes and whatnot. I just want to uh, correct that and say the fact that it actually doesn't. This will not fit. It's more like a surfer type band. So I went ahead and bought a NATO strap, uh, 24 millimeter, um, 24 millimeters, And uh, yeah, this one's a lot better. Honestly, I, I, I like this band. This, this supports a 7mm wetsuit. Dry suit, any type of suit you want to put on, it's going to support. So yeah, this is a NATO strap. Um, you can find one on eBay for like 10 bucks. They're not expensive and they're pretty decent quality. So yeah, this hit, has hit the salt water a lot and it's you know still holding up. I rinse it off and whatnot. Still in good condition. So that's just want to just want to let you know on that for 
the uh, band. So going to the metal band now. I've been wearing this thing for a lot. I I wear I'm a righty, right-handed, but I wear my watch on my right hand too because it's a lot more comfortable for me. So like someone would expect, since I write with it, boom, there is your wear and tear on the band itself from me, and this is from me writing on, like, you know, papers and whatnot, whatever it may be, so that's, this is the worst of it, but it's, the thing is, it's, it's a, it's a band, you can always go buy another one, or if you don't mind it, like, I don't really care, it's just wear and tear, it's expected to happen, especially four years later, come on, so that's the wear and tear on this side, the other side's looking pretty decent, just a couple nicks, nothing crazy, um, so it's still looking, it's still looking good, honestly, nothing too crazy going on, um, excuse me, you get some wear and tear on the clasp itself, as you can see, and, uh, yeah, but this is where the main tear comes from, and this is just from daily use, so expect this to happen in the event that you <laughs> wear your watch on the right hand, or your writing hand, uh, but if not, I mean, if you take your hand watch off when you write, whatever, don't expect too much to happen. But yeah, that's that's kind of the appearance. Um, I want to talk about the face too. The crystal is still spotless, and I've hit this hit the crystal itself on numerous items, metal, uh, wood, whatever it may be, and it it's just it stayed flawless. There's nothing wrong with it. No scratches, no cracks, no nothing. It's it's perfect. So I give MTM a really give them a lot of credit for keeping word to their uh, sapphire crystal because I know I have another watch that I'm actually going to review I'll talk about it later but it's sapphire crystal and it has a scratch on it so it was kind of surprising but otherwise yeah this face is flawless nothing wrong with it so that was pretty nice to see um paint on the watch itself you know I kind of already talked about that got a little little nicks here and there some dents on the sides right around here where it's you know more precise and whatnot but I mean, honestly, other from that, everything still works fine, you know. The functionality, uh, the stopwatch is still working okay. Sometimes it's the second hand right here stops on like three or four or something. But you just, you know, you fix it. It's fine. Um, yeah, stopwatch works fine. I will say, though, with the, with the movement, I have lost a couple seconds within the time. I'm not sure. It might be on the fact that I need a new battery, which I kind of think it is because of this battery. I changed it once, but... It might need to be changed again. So, yeah, actually it does. So, um, as the battery wears out, you're going to start losing some seconds with the movement. Um, it's nothing crazy. It's like probably two, three seconds a month. But it's still noticeable. Um, so, make sure you're changing out your battery. I think the battery life on this is about four years or something. But uh, make sure you're watching that. But other from that, yeah, it, it functions really nice. And there's not a lot of problems with it. Um... If any if any flaws, like I said, it's the movement. The movement would be probably the fact that, you know, if as the battery gets lower, it gets more inaccurate. But other from that, the, the, there's not a lot of flaws with this thing. It's been held, holding up. Um, it's pretty nice, too. It gets it gets dirty underneath. You know, you get the engraving here and, like, the letters and whatnot. It gets dirty. But, you know, you just, you just wash it. Just get some water, scrub it, and it goes away. But... Yeah, other from that, you know, it's, it's pretty solid. Four years later, been wearing it every day, biking, diving, whatever you name it, working with it, and it's been holding up. So that's uh, that's always a plus. Um, one thing I did want to talk about is the company itself. Looking back at my old review, old review of this watch, um, I noticed a lot of comments. There's a lot of mixed reviews on the company itself, not just the watch. Company being um, MTM, and a lot of people are saying, you know, some people are glorifying the company, saying, oh, it's great, it's fantastic, and then others are being like, oh, this is a ripoff, you can go get a $100 watch, same function, same movement, same everything, you don't have to overpay. Me owning this watch for four years, I do have a say on the company and what I think of them, and I want to go ahead and let you guys know how I think of it. So basically, I'm going to first just say they are good watches, honestly. The metal's solid, the case is solid, the movements are good. Uh, functionality and everything is good. This watch, if you want one, it's going to last you. It seriously will. But my only thing with the company is they do overprice their, their watches. That That's a guarantee. Um, that was one of the major complaints of saying, oh, you know, it's like $900, $800, depending on which one you get. Yeah, that that's that's true. Yeah, it is. They overprice their watches for sure. 
Um, I don't know if it's because of the name or their idea that it's a military spec watch. I don't, I don't know. But they do overprice them, and I don't think they should be that expensive, especially for the movement you're getting and whatnot. But that's just the fact of the reality, and there's nothing really you could do about it. Um, if in the event that you really wanted one of these watches and you were planning on making it last, I do recommend you buy a new one because I bought this for six hundred dollars, and I've been wearing it for four years, so I say it's paid for itself by now. I don't own any other watches but this one, and it's you know it's I think it's paid for itself. So um, I I am aware though they did change the pricing. Um, so this watch I think is now like 750 bucks. So yeah, it's it's a bit of a chunk out of the wallet, but um, I mean you got to keep up. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. But yeah, they, like I said before, they, they are overpriced. I do agree. If you want one but you're not planning on wearing it a lot, I do recommend you actually check out eBay. There's a lot of used watches on there if you don't mind it being used. Um, you know, just I mean, look at the quality of it. If, if you say yes or no to it, but they do sell a little cheaper on there. You can get one for like three, four hundred bucks, depending on the condition. Um, but yeah, if you really, 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 really wanted one, I'd recommend buying a new one because, like I said before, they're gonna last. You don't need to worry about that. So, but if you just want one to have it, and you know, you're not planning on wearing it too too much. Um, yeah, seriously, buy, probably, I'd recommend a used one, unless, you know, you have the money to spend, and, you know, it's fine. If you're on a tight budget, used is fine, but make sure it's in a good condition. But, yeah, other from that, that's, that's what I think of the company. They have decent watches. The movements probably could be better, for the price you're paying especially, but, uh, yeah, they're not bad, they're not bad watches, I'm not, and I got a couple comments saying too, this is a big watch, I mean, if you put it on my wrist, it's not big at all, it's it's heavy, and it's a little hard to get used to, but it's, if you're used to wearing like 32 millimeter watches, yeah, this is going to be a big one, I think this was like 45, if I remember right, but 45 millimeters across, from crown to end, but if you're, you know, 40, 44 millimeter watches, this is right up your alley, it's not 50, it's not 50, so it's not this giant circle on your wrist it's it's the right size and it, inf it functions really well in all types of environments cold um underwater too it's been this watch has been at like 130 feet and it's been fine no issues so it, it lives up to its uh, 660 feet foot idea which <laughs> which is good obviously but i uh, just want to point that out so yeah, I mean, that's that's honestly it. That's probably the end. Uh, and uh, one thing I did want to mention, too, um, if you're going to get one of these, I'd recommend getting a tool like this to take the band off. Um, it just makes life a lot easier. You can find them on eBay. It's just like a watch link removal tool. Just look it up. It's like 8 bucks, And it, it makes life so much easier. My screwdriver that did come with this to take out the, the links and stuff broke. So just want to point that out. Anyway, um, yeah, that's my final thoughts on the watch. It's a good watch. I love it. Um, I've had it for four years, and I've had no issues with it apart from, you know, needing a battery. But, um, yeah, it's it's held up perfectly fine. I don't mind denting it anymore because it's expected of owning a watch, especially if you're active and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, the company itself, I give you guys my uh, thoughts on that. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, basically, uh, I'm trying to keep this channel up, keep it going. Um, one way that I was considering... Um, actually, a, 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 a subscriber of mine mentioned to it, mentioned me about it, and is one of the reasons why I also started doing this. He actually is considering sending me his own watch, um, so I can go ahead and review that. I mean, he said, "Hold on to it for about a week or so, and uh, see what you think. Look it up, you know, and again make a review on it." So he's actually going to send me a watch. I think it was a Petrucci, Petru something like Petrucci or something like that. I don't know, but um, yeah, he's going to send me it. And uh, I'm gonna make a review on it, and then I send it right back to them. So if any of that, if any of you guys watching are ever curious or interested in doing something like that, hit me up. Uh, just give, send me a message, and uh, we'll work it out. But uh, yeah, that's what he's gonna do. So that's the next watch that I'm gonna go ahead and review and post it. So keep an eye out for that. Um, in the meantime, if you have any questions or anything like that, go ahead, like, subscribe, ask away. Um, I'm still active on the channel, so I'll go ahead and answer those questions. But other from that, that's, uh, that's really about it. That is my final thoughts for the MTM watches. I'm trying to see if I can pick up a deal with MTM itself and hopefully get some more MTM watches on because they are 
bit, they're a bit unknown. Um, and if you did your research, you'll understand what I'm saying. But anyway, uh, thank you guys again uh, for listening. That's the update. Hope you enjoy it. And like I, like I said, you know, if you have any questions, go ahead and answer. All right. Thank you so much. See ya.